Hello there, my name is Gogo Batke. I am a licensed realtor here in the state of Michigan. Um, I switched to eXp back in 2018 in November. November 1st is my anniversary date. Some of the reasons why I switched, well, there's three main reasons. By that time, I've been a licensed agent for eight years. Um, a top producing agent, probably six of the eight years. And I realized that if I walked out on the door of that brokerage, I literally had nothing to show for besides a bunch of plaques and trophies and no ownership in the company, no retirement plan, no health insurance. And it was time to grow up in the industry. It was time to A, make money in multiple different ways, but B, also, I was still young. I mean, I'm still young even today, right? But I felt like I still enjoyed and everything that I did and I had the energy and the patience for people. But I started realizing that that's probably not going to be the case when I'm 65. And I didn't want to sit an open house when I'm 65 and chasing that next commission. So I wanted to use my young years and my time, my skill, my energy, my patience while I'm still enjoying it and build something that one day when I'm ready to like exit, right, the real estate industry, then I have something to show for. So EXP kind of checked off all of those things. I was actually in the process of getting a, re getting a broker's license when EXP was presented to me again when I finally listened to it. And I realized everything that I was trying to achieve by having my own brokerage, I could do with EXP. So the three major reasons for me, number one, as a top producing agent, I never had an opportunity to so said earn my cap back. I always had a cap and it was always the price of doing business and that's just how the industry was built and it was never even an option. So EXP coming out with what they call the ICON program so then you can actually as a top producing agent earn your cap back. I was like, uh, sign me up, where's the catch, right? It's too good to be true because it's not an option anywhere else. So that was reason number one. Reason number two, I wanted ownership. So if I know that I'm going to be building for year after year and doing hundreds and hundreds of real estate deals, then why don't I have ownership in a brokerage that I'm making money for, right? Um, that was never an option. Um, the previous brokerages that I was with, I would have had to buy in and the average buy-in at the time was 250,000 to own a little share of a brokerage, right? Which was a local brokerage. And most brokerages are not profitable. So let me get this straight. I'm gonna spend $250,000 to buy something that may or may not be profitable and may or may not worth anything when I'm ready to sell it? No, thank you. To get liability and not much in return? No, thank you, right? And then so, but I still wanted some sort of an ownership, something that it can be mine. So then one day when I retire I, and close the doors of my own practice, right? Then I can just be like, oh, it's worth something. I can buy a condo in Florida, right? EXP has stocks, so we are publicly traded. We are NASDAQ traded since 2018. Our stock ticker is called EXPI, and every time we close a deal, we can use 5% of every commission and buy stocks in the company currently at a 10% discount. So it's like a coupon for stocks. Do you know another? Do you know any, any stock on the market that you can be like, oh, can I get it at 10% off? Exactly. So if I believed in the company enough to bring my business over here, then why on earth would I invest into the stocks? And it is stocks. Absolutely. You can take a, it's a risk, right? It can worth nothing when you and me retire or it can worth hundreds, thousands. Who knows? It's the stock market. But at least I have something, right? At least I can invest into something, taking the risk, but I'm getting it at a discount, hoping that it's worth something when I retire. Yeah, so that's that. But also, we earn stocks for free. So it's like, hold on a minute. For closing my first deal, I get $200 worth of stocks because I close my first deal every single year the past eight years and I got nothing. I take the $200 worth of stocks. Oh, but if I bring agents and they close their first deal, then I get 400. Uh, I brought 42 agents last year to my previous brokerage. I didn't get stocks every time they closed their first deal. So I get more ownership for growing the company. And then we also get stocks when we cap and when we ICON for free. I do all of those things, so why wouldn't I? So I can do all of these things over here and get paid just commission for the rest of my life and pay a cap for it. Or I can do the same exact things here, get my commission back, earn, get ownership in a company. And the third thing that I didn't mention to you guys, the reason why I joined this company is revenue share. I know, there is more, I know. Okay, the way revenue share works is this. If you decide to grow the company, which I do, because I love real estate and I talk to people all the time who want to become licensed and they end up joining a local brokerage somewhere, right? Or they're already licensed, they don't really like it, they're not getting what they want, so they end up joining somewhere else and they ask my opinion on it, right? So if I'm already doing that, they might not get paid for it. So at EXP, 
if you decide to grow the company, which we call a revenue share downline, right? If you decide to grow the company, when the agents join, they need a sponsor. Nobody can join without a sponsor. So they say, hey, who is responsible for you joining? They say it's Gogo, okay? Or Kelly or you name it, right? The person that they had the conversation with about the opportunity, they name that person as their sponsor. Well, that person becomes their sponsor. The agent becomes what we call frontline or downline, first generation. And then they have friends. Their agents become my second generation and those agents' friends become my third generation and so on and forth. While the company shares the revenue, meaning if you help grow the company, which in return those agents generate revenue to the company, the revenue that was generated because of you, they share with you. Where is the catch? And yes, I said revenue. I didn't say profit. I said revenue. Hmm. So I become Gary Keller because Gary Keller takes it right at the top, right? He doesn't care if the office is profitable or not profitable. You are getting a cut. Well, he is getting a cut right at the top. So I wanna become Gary Keller, okay? So the way that works is our agents, so everybody at EXP, we have a 16,000 cap and an 80-20 split. So when we are paying our 20%, I pay my 20% every time I close a deal until I cap, my sponsor and his sponsor and his sponsor and his sponsor and his sponsor, seven generations up, going to receive a certain amount, a smaller percentage, three and a half percent, 4%, 2.9%, whichever generation I am to them, they receive a certain percentage out of that 20% that is company dollar, right? So the agents don't pay anybody anything. Nobody owns me anything. I don't owe anybody anything above me, under me, none of that. That 20% that we pay into the company, that 20% gets divided between the seven generation who brought you to the company. Kind of like that six degrees of separation, right? Or the six degrees of, yeah. You know somebody, you know somebody, you know somebody. That's kind of how it happens, the downline situation. So every month, right on, on the 22nd of the month, real US dollars, revenue share gets deposited into your bank account. Now I can't share what the revenue share amount is, but I could tell you that with my rent, with my last month, sorry, with my last month's revenue share, we could have paid our mortgage on this house here in Michigan for four and a half years. Yeah four and a half years with one month of revenue share. So revenue share is real money. It's something that you can build in this lifetime and it will pay you past your retirement. You can actually leave it to your children. So that was very important to us because our oldest is type one diabetic and he can't have life insurance because of his disability. So that in my mind, I can build something in my lifetime that will take care of him and our children, of course, equally for their lifetime and their children lifetime and so on and forth. So it allows us to build a legacy in this lifetime that will pay for future generations. So my three big reasons were number one, earning my cap back as a top producing agent. Number two, having ownership in a company. Number three, having passive income, something that I can build now while I'm young and happy and have patience for people, right? And then collect on it one day when I'm ready to retire. How did EXP change my life? Oh gosh, I can't begin I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Um, today, we have in the Team Gogo organization over 910 agents. We are in 45 different states and in five different countries. Um, since I joined EXP Hyatt, I had opened seven more businesses. I had one at the time, I opened seven more. Um, because it allows you to, with the systems and the technology that are, are in places and then the connections that we are able to make, we stick together like glue, we refer to one another, we truly are a tribe. And it allows you through all of these connections to take yourself to that next level, to the level that you could have not gone on your own or it would have taken you years and years to go, right? So with that being said, now I was able to remove myself from production, um, have a 10,000 foot view of my business, replace myself with, with people that can do the production. It allows me to have time to spend on my business and not in my business, which allowed me to dream big and open multiple other businesses. 95% of my income is passive and real estate commissions, believe it or not, became 5%, 5% of my income. And it's more than what I ever made on my own but it's now 5% of my total income. Isn't that crazy? And 95% of my income is passive. So by giving you time freedom, time will give you what? 
time to think about other things, time to work on other things, time to work on your business and not in your business, to take yourself and your family's legacy to the next level. So EXP, if I say EXP changed my life or changed our lives, I would be kidding you. It's the words don't do justice of how our life got changed. Today, we own two homes. We own this home. And then we also built a million dollar hometown in Florida. We are going to be living snowbirds <laughs> in, in our early 40s. And uh, yeah, we have time freedom. We have location freedom. We have um, financial freedom. All of the freedoms that you can need and want on this earth, we have it. So I'm thankful for EXP. I'm th thankful for you to be watching this video. And hopefully we can also change your life the way it changed ours. We would absolutely love if you joined us. So please give it a good thought, right? Changing brokerages is, is not an easy task. I totally know it. And I honor it if you have to take your time. But what I want you to be is be knowledgeable. Don't make a decision about something that you don't know anything about. Give it some time, research it, and if the numbers make sense, and if this feels like home, we would love if you joined us.